Usually we think that our actions are a result of what we believe. So if a person is mindful of the environment, they're going to recycle. If a person is kind, they're going to give charity and be nice to other people. Uh, the actions we do are a product of what we believe. And yet, in this week's Parsha, we learn that it also works the other way around, that what we believe is the product of our actions. The Torah says that when we left Egypt, we were asked to eat the Korban Pesach before leaving, and that we were commanded exactly how to do it. So, for example, it says that you're supposed to eat it with a group, with your family, and it also says that you're supposed to eat it in a dignified way. And it says, for example, also that you can't break any bones in the Korban Pesach. And there's a beautiful explanation uh, given by the Sefer HaChinuch with regard to why you can't break the bones of the Korban Pesach. He says when a poor person eats, then they're picking for scraps. They're going to take every bit that's on the bone. They're going to try and really... Uh, get the most out of their uh, their meal. And so the Torah says, even though you've been slaves for so many years, even though you've suffered for so many years, nonetheless, now that you're going free, when you eat the Korban Pesach, you should make sure to eat it in a way that's befitting someone who's been uh, liberated, someone who's free. Ha'adam nif'al kefi A person is fashioned in accordance to their actions. So even though sometimes something may not be something we are at yet, nonetheless acting that way can lead us to be uh, to becoming that person that we would like to become. So the Torah says, when you eat the Korban Pesach, do it in a way that's befitting someone who's become a free person. Ha'adam nif'al kefi and uh, if you follow that logic, also if a person isn't very kind necessarily, and they, uh, they do acts of kindness, they give charity, they volunteer, even if that's not something that they believe in, that is the person that they become. So may we take this lesson of Parashat Bo, of Adam Nifal Kefi Peulotav, and uh, apply it to our own lives, act in a way that's appropriate, that's befitting what we want to be, and most importantly, may it be a Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.